Hello, Math 186 students. This is your instructor, Mrs. Thomas, and we are starting part two of chapter four. Um, the practice problems, I think I did the last one. It says percentage of one number is of another number. So that's where we are starting. And I am doing the odd problems. Or part two of it anyway. Okay, so we did 21. All right, now 23. It says what percent, and I'm going to write it here so that you will be able to see exactly step by step what I am doing. Of 80 is 10. What percent? All right, we talked about when you see the word of, that means to multiply. When you see the word is, that means equal. Okay, so what percent is the question? That's what you don't know. That's the unknown variable. You can choose N, X, T, V, whatever variable you choose is fine. All right, let me bring down 80 and I'm going to bring down 10. We're going to set it up like an equation. If you like the is over of equals N over 100, that is fine. Okay, so here I'm going to clean this up. This is 80 N or whatever variable you choose equals 10. Now, the last step, I want to isolate the variable. I want n to be all by itself, so I need to get rid of the coefficient. So I'm going to divide, okay, on both sides, okay? 10 divided by 80, where is my nifty calculator when I really need it? What have I done with my calculator? That is okay. We will make it work, okay? So here, the top number n, the denominator out, Okay. It's always about improvising. 80 won't go into 10. So before I can start adding zeros, I need to add my decimal. Then I can start adding zeros. 80 will go into 100 one time. One time 80 is 80. Okay. Right. 100 minus 80 is 20. Let me drop another zero. Okay. 80 will go into 200. Let's see, 80 times 1 is 80. 80 times, 80 times 2 is 160. 80 times 3 is 240. So 3 will be too much. Let's go with 2, all right? So that gives me 160. So 200 minus 160 is 40, correct? Okay. Let me drop one more zero, okay? 80 times what would give me 400, all right? That will be 5, all right? Okay. So this is point one two five, and it asks you what percent of it. So you have the decimal. I need you to, to move it two places to the right and give me the percent. So make sure you always read the directions and give me exactly what I need. Okay, very good. Um, I know I've done twenty one and twenty three. All right, now let's get down to the actual pre nursing portion of it where you actually do proportions. So this next set says solve for X using ratio and proportion in a colon or fraction format. Okay. So here, let me show you how the setup would look. And then I'll put it on regular paper so that you'll be able to see it step by step. So 26, I just do 26 since I, I usually do only odd, but I'll do 26. 26 says a medication is available as 20 milligrams per five milliliter. To give 30 milligrams, you would give X milliliters. Okay, so let me show you how to set that up like a proportion, all right? So I'll scoot this down so you'll be able to see. So the medication is available, all right, as 20 milligrams per five milliliters. So that gives you at least your setup because it already has a division symbol here. Already, okay? 20 milligrams over five milliliters. Okay, so here I want you to put your proportion line. And what we want to do is we want to go back to the original problem and we want to fill in the blank accordingly. So if it says to give 30 milligrams, you're going to match units to units, meaning if you have a milligram here, you need a milligram over here. You can have a milligram over here and then have a milliliter over here or a gram, okay? So we want to match units according to what you are given in your problem. So I'm going to put the 30 milligrams here. And here, well, Ms. Thomas, what do I need to put here? Just put your variable, X, Y, Z, T, N, whatever variable you choose is fine. Now we're going to cross multiply since um, a lot of my students love the cross multiplication. They think it's fairly easy. So we're going to cross multiply. 
Um, so you have 20, you know, this is an understood one. We've talked about that. So 20 milligrams times X, you just write it all together. 20 milligrams times X, okay, equals, and then you're gonna multiply. We, you're just doing the butterfly. We're just multiplying. 30 times five is 150. And you're gonna take the milligrams and the milliliter. This is how you're gonna show work. Okay, you're not just going to give me X equals the, this is the answer, Miss Thomas. I need to make sure that, you know, you are my future nurses. So I need to make sure that you are doing step by step to ensure that I know, you know, the steps. Okay, so here I want X to be all by itself. So the last step you always do is you want to get rid of whatever's in front of your X, your coefficient. So here I'm going to divide both sides by 20 milligrams. Okay, and notice they will cancel out, all right? Because I know you guys love canceling out. So here, cancel and cancel. You're left with X and that's what we want. Okay, over here, the milligrams will cancel, leaving me with the milliliter and that's what was asked for in our problem. So here, we're gonna do 150 divided by 20. Okay, so the top number in, the denominator goes out. 20 won't go into one, it won't go into 15, but it will go into 150 seven times. Seven times 20 is 140, okay? 150 take away 140 leaves you 10, okay? What did we say before? You can start dropping zeros, okay? You have to add your decimal, very good. Bring down your zero, 20 does go into 100 five times evenly with no remainder. So here, your answer is seven, 0.5 milliliters, okay? And the decimal does make a difference because if you give a patient, it's supposed to have 7.5 milliliters and you give the patient 75 milliliters, well, you know what you've done, okay? So here, you wanna make sure you never wanna overdose your patient, okay? You always wanna make sure you ensure that you are giving them the correct dosage, okay? So let's do 27. This was 26. And they are all just as easy. And the more you practice with it, so you want to make sure that, you know, you, you are at least studying and looking over your book prior to class because that really makes a huge difference instead of being completely lost. Okay. So on 27, it says a medication is available as 20 micrograms. All right. So you de definitely need to make sure you get your terminology. Micrograms over or per 15 milliliter. The doctor ordered 15 micrograms you would give how many milliliters, okay? So let's start off putting it in a proportion going by what we were given, okay? So here, the available over what was prescribed. So you have 20 micrograms over 15 milliliters, okay? Instead of your proportion, just like that. And then you go to the next part, what the doctor ordered. So it's always of, of what it, what was prescribed, what was uh, available. Well, we do order what the doctor ordered over what you actually have what's available. Okay, so here, the doctor ordered 15 micrograms, so you're gonna match your micrograms goes here with another micrograms, okay? You wanna match units to units, okay? So here, this is where the X goes. So we're going to cross multiply like we did before, okay? So 20 micrograms, you want to make sure when you are showing work, you are giving me every last unit. Every, the way I'm writing this is how I want you to write it from now on, okay? All right, and 15 times 15, okay? I don't have my nifty calculator, but thank goodness I'm a math teacher. All right, 5 times 5 is 25, carry your 2. 5 times 1 is 5, plus the 2 you carry is 7. 1 times 5 is 5. And one times one is one. Okay, bring down your five. Seven plus five is 12, carry your one. And one plus one is two. So this is 225, okay? And you wanna make sure you put your units, okay? Micrograms and milliliters, put it all, okay? Write it all, okay? Next, I want to isolate the variable. So I, that means I want X to be all by itself. So I'm gonna get rid of whatever's in front of it, which is 20 micrograms. Okay, these will cancel, okay, cancel. And you will divide 225 divided by 20, and that will give you your milliliters, okay? The two top number, numerator goes in, your denominator goes out. 20 will go into 22 one time. One time 20 is 20. Bring down your two, okay? And bring down the five. 20 will go into 25 one time. One time 20 is 20. 
So 25 minus 20 is five. All right, before I can start adding zeros, I have to, of course, place my decimal. Let me bring down the first zero. 20 goes into 50, is that two times? Two times 20 is 40. 50 take minus 40 is 10. Bring down another zero. 20 goes into 100 five times, evenly with no remainder, okay? So this is 11.3, okay? And when you're doing dosages um, with patients, you, you know, you rather have 11.257376, this is what you're giving a patient, mm -mm, okay? So just 11.3, or oh, if you put 11.25, I wouldn't take it, I would've just corrected it for you, 11.3 milliliters. So y'all, not too hard at all. I know that uh, you will be able to get this. Uh, I'm, lo I'm just looking at some different, looking at the different examples to see if any of them are any different. Let me show you 30, just in case. Let's look at 30, okay? It says a medication is available as 0 0.5 milligrams per tablet. A doctor ordered 1.5 milligrams. You would give how many tablets? Well, Ms. Thomas, I don't know how to set this up. 0 0.5 milligrams. If you see the word a tablet, that means just one tablet. Okay? But sometimes, you know, you just need to kind of see it. I need to say it out loud. Okay? So that's the only difference. Everything else will still be the same. You see tablet, it's just one. Write one and keep it moving. Okay? So here, 1.5 milligrams will go here. Okay, and the X will go here as far as in your setup. So maybe you just said, well, Miss Thomas, I know how to cross multiply. It's just a setup. So the more and more you practice, the better off you will be. So, of course, you're going to cross multiply like we would normally do, 0 0.5 milligrams times X. Make sure you show all of your steps, please. 1.5 times 1 is 1.5 milligrams per tab. You can, put, you can write it out or you can put TAB. I know what you're trying to tell me. The last step is I want you to isolate the variable by getting rid of the what's in front of it, which is the 0 0.5 milligrams here. They will cancel, okay? And you will put 1.5 divided by 0 0.5 in your calculator, and it will tell you how many tablets you are supposed to give your patient. So not too hard. Uh, I'm just looking to see um is there are there any well i'm just my eyes are scanning down each example just looking to see um how would you set up anything that looked different um look at 31 look at 31 okay just in case i just scanned my eyes a nurse practitioner ordered 0 0.25 grams of a medication that was available in a scored 500 milligram tablet. You would give how many tablets, okay? So here, all right, it's going to, you're trying to figure out like, well, I don't, they don't give me anything to work with. Well, that's when your book is going to come in handy, your conversions. So you're thinking, okay, well, if we're doing grams and milligrams. Let me see what in the book would tell me anything about grams and milligrams. Well, one gram is equal to 1,000 milligrams, correct? And I want you to make sure you go in the book and verify. You always want to make sure and look, okay? So before you can do anything, you want to verify that the information is right by studying on your own, okay? So here... The way you would set this up is I have to change my grams to milligrams first conversions, okay? So this is in the book. I think it's on page 102 or 104. It's on conversions, okay? So the, I'm going to put the 0 0.25 grams here over X, okay? I want to cross multiply. So I have one gram times X, and I want to multiply 1,000 times 0 0.25 let me multiply it right here real quick. What did I say? Oh, 0 0.25. Uh, time, where's my times? Times 1,000. Okay. And that equals 250. Please make sure you multiply that for me. Make sure. All right. 1,000 times 0 0.25. Okay. Next, I want to divide both sides by one gram because I want X to be uh, isolated by itself. So 
this is 250 milligrams. Okay, now let's go back to the problem. Okay, so here you've changed grams to milligrams in order to figure out how many tablets you need to give the patient. So you cannot just divide 0 0.25 divided by 500. No, okay. So here you're going to take what you have, which is the 500 milligrams, divide that by the 250 milligrams here, and that will give you how many tablets you give the patient, which is two tablets, okay? Two tablets. Okay, so far so good. Okay.